Welcome back to Nagios XI self-paced training. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to check Nagios XI system status. The latest release of XI includes a system health check that keeps an eye on the main components of Nagios. Each check mark corresponds to a key component of Nagios XI, and this toolbar will flash a warning message if there's a component that's having a problem. The primary way to check on your Nagios XI system status is through the monitoring process menu. The process info page lets you know if the monitoring engine is up and running. From here you can stop, start, and restart the Nagios monitoring engine, as well as enable or disable global settings for Nagios XI. The monitoring engine event queue is a visual representation of the checks that are coming in and being processed by Nagios. If you're running mostly active checks, this graph should be somewhat level and shouldn't have too many substantial spikes or valleys. If you're using more passive checks, this graph can be used as an indicator as to when your passive checks are coming in and may give an indication if fine-tuning is needed in spacing out those checks. The performance page gives you monitoring statistics for your installation. For those of you used to Nagios Core, this is a visual representation of the Nagios Stats utility. From here, you can keep an eye on how many active and passive checks you have coming in in a given amount of time. The Monitoring Engine Performance Dashlet lets you keep an eye on the system's performance as it is related specifically to checks. As the amount of checks coming into Nagios increases, you'll want to keep an eye on these numbers to see if they are affecting your monitoring performance. Ideally, you want your check latencies to be as low as possible. On large environments, if you're seeing the average latencies climb past 10 seconds or more, that could be an indication that you need to make some adjustments to your monitoring setup. Any of these dashlets can also be added to a dashboard for quicker viewing, and this provides for a good overview of the status of your Nagios XI installation. This concludes our tutorial for now. Be sure to check out nagios.com for the latest news, tutorials, and updates.